It's the most bizarre thing. Something exists. I mean, what does it mean? You know, it's a kind of feeling that I had during my childhood that there's something very special happening. So I was doing my studies and then I figured out that CERN laboratory, they were building the, the particle accelerator, the biggest machine in the earth. And I thought, well, that's where I should be, right? So I started moving in that direction. I, I went to Rio de Janeiro, I started doing my master's degree and then after my, my PhD, working in a collaboration with one of the experiments, the LHCB, where they are interested about uh, symmetry of matter and antimatter, what what does it mean, and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, I then went to CERN. I stayed total one year there in Switzerland. In Switzerland, in Geneva, I made a lot of interesting things. I, I was working in the underground for a while, help, helping to install the muon chambers in the LHCB experiment. New one is a kind of particle. It's a, it's a particle, yeah. It's a broader, broader of the electron. It's more heavy. You know? So for a, for a while, it was very exciting to be there and see how can scientists from all around the world get together and build this very complex machine. So if you have a very real, a good idea, you could knock on the door of the guy who's in charge of everything and say, hey, I have this idea. And yeah, that, that's the kind of thing that was welcome there. And that, that was incredible to see that happen. You know, it was yeah. very exciting to be part of that. Until <laughs> at some point of that, I start feeling very weird, a very intense feeling that there was kind of other option, other path to be taken. Of course, when I started doing physics, I had these big questions like, what's happening in the world? Why I'm here? I want to understand in a different way of just breaking the world into tiny pieces of matter that are very abstract, you know. In first place, what are these particles about? What is quantum physics telling us about the world that we live? You know, I was more, much more interested about this kind of question. Now, the thing was, what is the most interesting question that I can ask? You know, that's the feeling. If we talk about the mystical experience and there is this consensus of some kind of non-local, non-duo experience and uh, that's what is being claimed by thousand years of people who were into this kind of experience. If we find that, for example, telepathy is real, the thing that they are claiming that there is a unity behind some kind of shared space outside the three-dimensional world. Well, if, if telepathy is real, it makes sense what these people are claiming. Mm. There are all these results already about Psy, and they are very, they are very unknown to the traditional academic uh, worldview. People will say that there are no interesting results that cannot be reproduced. But it's one kind of interpreting the thing, and most of people are not aware of the results, the meta-analysis. For take the Gansfeld telepathy, for example, right? The result is very powerful. What does it mean? You know? Yeah. What does it mean? And why not science start looking to that direction and, and really trying to replicate those results? Maybe there's something missing from the current picture. You know? Maybe consciousness is part of physics. Not part of just biology or psychology or maybe it's kind of fundamental field of information, something that is missing from the current picture of how we understand the universe. And that's very exciting because then it brings us back to the game of trying to understand the world. Now it's not just about an outside world there that is a mechanistical thing. No, it's about consciousness and I know what's consciousness so maybe that's not just experience that humans have maybe that's some kind of a more fundamental thing so wow everything's alive you know and I think one very interesting consequence of if all this is correct is that it challenges a lot our cultural worldview you know? uh -huh. instead of 
being separated and competitive because we are, you know, like, well, if we are somehow connected, how do we change the, you know, the story that we are telling here about what's this place and what is your place, what should you do, you know? I think it, it's very interesting because it leads to a more, much more beautiful, interesting world view and that have um, ontological basis, you know? It's not clear if mind is the only real thing and everything ri arises from the mind or if mind is one more field that we must bring to physics, uh -huh. it's not clear if it is a field, if we're gonna have a mathematics about that, you know? So what I really believe that we start doing and doing more and more is trying to replicate those studies. And really, I, I believe that Psy is a very interesting path. I don't know if it's right, but why not making those questions in a scientific way using the best of the methodology of science to inquire this meeting of the mind consciousness and the outside world why not actually for me that's the most exciting question to be done right now <laughs>